Hey everyone, Andrew here with ACR Protect. Thanks for stopping by. Well, just, we're almost there. It's work. It's always something. Today was today was what I like to call HR nightmares. Now, not not nightmares with monsters and ghosts or aliens or anything like that. HR nightmares with people being stupid. Little uh, little clue, don't shit where you eat. <clears throat> All that said, Andrew needs a cocktail. And I, I think I think you should join me on this grand adventure that involves uh, delicious beer and not HR nightmares. So, yeah, I'm, so I got home kind of late. My, my hair is wet. I, uh, I was running the trash out. I, <laughs> of course, <laughs> by the time I get in and settled and everything else, it, it starts raining. Andrew's running his trash out in the rain. I'm that guy. I'm that guy. I like to, I like to put it out the night before. I don't know. What about you? Are, you? are you so paranoid you wait till the like right when the trash man comes up to get your trash? Because you got some weird shit in there trying to throw away your blow-up doll or something. <laughs> uh, is that what you got? All right. <clears throat> local beer. Back at St. Arnold's, right down the road. Local beer here in Houston. I love, like I said, 99.99 percent of their stuff um this one it's another ipa and, and uh, yeah i've been kind of all over the board with stuff uh this one's good though this is saint arnold's banger ipa it's an imperial hazy ipa coming in at 8.4 percent alcohol by volume um not a whole lot of lingo on the can it's got the uh Got the little speaker on there, you know, party time. I support it. Of of the IPAs, I am a fan of the hazies. I am. That's I, I don't know what it is. It's <clears throat> probably because they usually have that, um, usually like citrus notes, like hazy note. Haze, duh, it's a hazy. Like citrus or fruity notes or something. It just it. Um, it blends well with the hops because we all know the IPAs are a little hoppy. So let's see, I got my regular glass here. Um, let's get in for a pour. Try to do this here. Sounds good. Love that glug, 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 you know. Let's see, we're gonna be able to get all that in there. Maybe if we let it sit for a second, that. That's uh, surprisingly transparent. Uh, kind of that, that amber yellow color, but uh, I, you know, it, it doesn't look like a hazy. Um, you know what I mean? I mean, that is, is it me? That's pretty clear. Like you can see my thumb on the backside there. Get the rest of the beer in here. <clears throat> Looks good. Oh, you can smell the hops. You can smell them. It's not like overbearing though. Um, I mean, no beer scientist smells like an IPA. Um, 8.4 though, that's that's uh, that's getting up there, you know. I guess it is an Imperial Hazy, but you know, a lot of IPAs kind of hover around that six and seven. Uh, 8.4, these will these will catch up with you. This is sold in a six pack, uh, 9.99, 10 bucks. Uh, a lot of the St. Arnold stuff is 10 bucks. Um, typically, for a six pack, whether you're getting the uh, the Kolsch, you know, the lawnmower, the Art car, the summer pills, whatever. They, they always got good beers. They do. 
that's just always a, a win there. So let's get, let's, why are we wasting our time? Cheers to you and your families. We're almost there. We're almost to the weekend. So hang in there. Let's get in on this. Let's see what we got. That's good. That's a good beer. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, so it tastes like an IPA. Um, you get the fruity notes at the end. That's for sure. It's a... Uh, drinks a little heavy, to be honest with you. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. It's, it's it's unique. I like it. I like it. Fucking mosquitoes in my office here. Fucking Texas. There's mosquitoes everywhere. Um. Okay. So now, if we kind of look at it, there, there's like a. Uh, between the con, uh, the con condensation, <laughs> carbonation, uh, see a little bit of that. But there, there, there looks to be like some, some sediment there. You know, maybe making it hazier. It's just, it's not, it's not as cloudy as I would, as I would expect a hazy to be. Hmm. just good it's good beer if you like ipas i think you'd like this um like i said the fruity notes i'm just itchy uh i don't know um fruity notes are good uh all, all around a good beer um gotta be careful with those 8.4s though you know it's one of those you like you think you're okay and then you have six of them and you're like Argh! you know you're smashed um, but it's good. Easy going beer. I need to go there and try this one on tap. I have not had this one on tap. Now, one I have had on tap there. I had it on the channel before. Everyone loves saying the name Tarnation. <laughs> that beer, like that beer is delicious to begin with. And then you have it on tap. What? Took a client there a couple times for lunch. You know, a wet lunch, as I like to say couple cocktails the 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 brewery has amazing food like um amazing chefs that, that like it's one of those like you think you're going to a brewery and getting like 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 what am i my fucking teenage girl um it's quality food it's 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 gourmet food uh their pizzas are amazing and you think oh whatever bitch it's just pizza <laughs> i one time had crab rangoon pizza there i know i don't even fucking like crab rangoon that shit was delicious i'm telling you <clears throat> burgers stuff like that and then again if you're in the area <clears throat> um or you're making a road trip through fun for the kids dog friendly animal friendly they got like the they got the corn sack game they got shuffleboard they got <clears throat> all that stuff out there a great outdoor pavilion I mean, you don't even need to do the brewery tour. If that's not your thing, you're just there to go have a good time, eat and and um, play some games, sit outside, you know, get a good view of Houston. It's a pretty prime spot for a good skyline view of Houston. A um, lot of TVs out there. Usually they're they're playing sporting events and stuff. Um, they have like just a, a, a basic bitch hot pretzel with like some cheese sauce. Dude. It's legit. Alice, friend of the channel, she and I went there. We went there and drank some different beers and had pretzels. You know, you had to go there and spend a whole bunch of money. Just get a couple couple drinks and have a good time. You know, that's it. So, again, St. Arnold's, feel free to come sponsor me. Love your shit. 
come hang out let me do a video there that's what we should try next huh maybe well not next but down the road do a video there do some tastings you know see what we can do all right there we go andrew with this cocktail hour and hr nightmare rant all right always enjoy connecting with y'all see we got a couple new subs i appreciate it i know it's been a lot of cocktail hours it has been it's just where my head's been lately i know like oh andrew's drinking again daddy's been drinking all right no seriously i i've got some other stuff coming it's just uh, that sometimes this is just easy it just it just flows y'all so cheers my best to you always Y'all take care. We'll catch you next time.